Hello, everybody watching. I know it's been a while uh, since I've made a video and just wanted to make an announcement that from now on my channel will no longer be business videos, but I am going to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is what the world needs right now. And we can definitely talk about business things as it pertains to godly things, but more importantly, people are hungry for truth. And the past two years, ever since this, you know what happened, don't want to mention it because of censorship, but I see the world falling apart. And as the world falls apart, the Lord in his holy word promises us peace that goes beyond understanding. So what I want to share with you for anyone, you know, brothers and sisters in Christ, God bless you. And for anyone else that is searching for truth and you're just getting spun like a top and you don't know where to go. Well, I tell you something, the word of God is the inspired word from our creator. It's from beginning to end, from how this earth was created to the future of what is going to happen here on planet earth. And it is amazing because when you study and you continue to study God's word, the wisdom that comes from understanding his ways and how God operates is it goes beyond understanding. That's why the Bible does tell us that we will receive a peace that goes beyond understanding. So basically uh, I want to share with you just some of the things, the wisdom that has been poured out, not for me because I'm anyone special, but because I'm praying for wisdom, the wisdom that comes from God. And uh, I want to talk to you today, first of all, about the distractions that are happening, not only in the world, forget about the world, but in the body of Christ. We have these distractions because people are just completely lost and looking for answers. And they're, they're going to the carnal, meaning they're going to the physical, what they can see, instead of going to the spiritual. So first, I want to share the gospel because more, most importantly, what I realized that no one is sharing the gospel. I actually was thinking about this the other day and I said, I'm really angry. No one is sharing with me when I'm going about my day. No one is saying, hey, do you know about Jesus? Do you know um, coming up to me and saying, you know, starting a, striking up a conversation and sharing the gospel? No one's doing that. So. I realized that, you know, the great commission in the New Testament is to share the gospel of Jesus Christ because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through him. And he is the one, is the, he's the author and finisher of our salvation. He is the, he's the Alpha and Omega. He is God. And when you finally understand that, it's, everything just opens up and all these burdens of life just, they just fall away. And, you know, our focus is so much, so much, it's, it's just different. And for those of you that are not saved and don't understand the gospel, I'm going to share it with you right now. If you do not know the gospel, this is the most amazing thing that can ever happen to a person because it's, it's a matter of life and death in this life and in the life to come. So the gospel is very simple. We are born into a sin nature. Um, when God created the first two human beings on earth, Adam and Eve, they were born perfect without sin. However, God gave them one commandment, and that commandment was do not eat of this tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So God, uh, Adam and Eve decided to disobey God, and that brought sin nature into the world, the disobedience against God's word, against what he said. He, he, we didn't trust God. So this is where sin entered the human race. But God had a plan from beginning to end. And throughout the scriptures, it points to Jesus Christ. He was going to be that sacrifice for our sins. In order to have atonement for our sins, we need a sacrifice. In the Old Testament, they did it through animal sacrifice. And in the New Testament, this is when uh, Jesus came. And he died a horrific death. He was fully God fully um, man, lived a perfect life, and he was uh, crucified. He died a horrific, he suffered for us. And he was, he was buried and then rose again 
on the third day according to the scriptures. This is where we, when we place our trust in the Lord Jesus Christ alone for our salvation, that he did the work of salvation to all who believe, that is the gospel. And that's the simplicity of the gospel. And that's why Jesus is a stumbling block because people think that they still have to do something in order to be saved. Well, once I'm saved, I have to show the fruit. Well, we do, God does want us to be sanctified. He do, He is working on us, but it is not a requirement salvation. So we have to remember salvation is different than our works that come afterwards. They We have to separate the two. So the good news is that with all the craziness and the world, the people seem to have just literally lost their minds, that this is all predicted in scripture, that people would be sent over to a reprobate mind, meaning they can't see the truth. So the truth is that people are literally just loving their sin and getting more and deeper, deeper into their sin, and they can't even see that they're in it. And this is why right now in the church age, um, this is the age of grace, where grace is a gift. It's free, and you just have to accept it. That's it. So no matter what religion you come from, the Lord calls us all. It is his desire for everyone to be saved, but we have to just, just receive the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is not of our own, so no one can boast. It's not about works. It is a free gift of grace. So don't let any pastor tell you that it is not free. Because otherwise, that would look make God look like a liar, and then it would make us to have to do work in order to earn this free gift. So we'll talk about the gifts of the Spirit and things like that later. Most importantly, it's today it says in the Bible, today is the day of salvation. So there is no, I've got to get my life together, I've got to do this. Nope, you just get on your knees and say, Lord, I'm a sinner, I need you. I recognize that I have sin, and then I need a Savior. And Lord Jesus, please uh, forgive me for my sins. And he will. He nailed your sin on the cross, past, present, and future. And what, it's called the gospel, the good news. What, what more good news would you want than to have everlasting life, to be reunited one day with our Heavenly Father? That craving we all have, and we're just constantly searching, 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 and never coming to the knowledge of the truth. That's what scripture says. Um, you know, it's just amazing that there's just so few people, even when you have these channels, these YouTube channels, and they're pointing out all these things that are happening, these evil things that are happening in the world, but no one's really preaching the gospel, which is the Great Commission, which is what what Paul did, what which the apostles uh, equipped us, us to do, to just go preach the good news, to set the captives free with the gospel. That's what we're supposed to do and that's why I have this heart now because I've been set free I have peace that goes beyond understanding I want to share that with all of you on this channel anyway God bless you guys and we'll get into uh, some really interesting things that um, I feel that the Lord has shown me and I'm not I'm not a prophet I'm not claiming to be anything or visible you know visibly um, audibly hearing from God this is just my spirit um, asking for wisdom I'm praying for wisdom and uh, things that are being revealed to me so we'll get into that later all right leave a comment below let me know if this video was helpful let me know if you want to come to the Lord Jesus to uh, to repent and turn to him I would love to know if that is you. Just let me know. God bless.